today we're looking at how to connect to your Notion database using the coefficient add-on. If you do not have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, then you can continue on with this to connect to Notion. So click on extensions, coefficient, and launch. And when the sidebar pulls up, we'll want to click on import from. And if you have not connected to Notion before, we'll have to add that connection. So it may be here in suggested sources. If not, then click on see all sources and then find Notion in that list. Once you find it, click on connect. And then we're going to have to authorize the first time. And then if you're ready logged in, it'll bring you to this. And you can select the pages you want to import and allow access to. So we'll click allow access here. And that will bring us back to the sidebar. Now we can click on from tables and columns. And now we'll have this pop up. We can choose a database to load. So let's go ahead and pick reading list. Click next. And now we'll see a preview of the data we're going to bring in. So we can choose different columns that we want to bring in. We can also add a filter if we like. We can do a custom sort or we can do a limit if we want to limit how many rows we want to bring in. Once we're good, we can go ahead and click import. Once the import is done, you can select a auto refresh schedule. You can select hourly, daily, or weekly, or you can select not right now if you like to do it manually or would like to set that up later. On the sidebar now, you can see all these options are still here. It's refresh schedule. We can edit the fields we want to do. We can add a filter short here. Uh, we can also manually run a refresh. All right, so that's it. That shows you how easy and quick it is to connect to and bring your data in from Notion in a Google Sheets using the coefficient add-on.